Hi, I'm Mark Wolbright, and welcome to the Greenwall Mojo blog. Today's segment is one I've been waiting a while to get to. Uh, I've been shooting pictures and video all summer at uh, Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville. And as you know from previous segments, uh, we've been studying for the last three years uh, the benefits of living walls over there with 18 uh, identical test walls. Dr. Bill Retzloff and his graduate students have been uh, monitoring these things for three years, and they started to produce some very interesting data. And uh, now I'm going to show you how we're monitoring runoff order coming through the system. And we've got some early data from July through, uh, I want to say, July through the end of September, I think that's what it is, that shows exactly the rain events and what the effect of the living wall systems were on the rain events. How much uh, runoff water hit these systems and how much percolated through and ran off and then how much was retained or utilized by the plants that were growing in these systems. So we're starting to get an idea of what the positive impact is of these living walls on runoff water. And one of my early theories was that these could serve as a management tool for stormwater runoff. So check out what we've got and uh, see for yourself, and then check often because we're going to really pick up the pace of adding new information. Thanks a bunch, and take care. So I'm here at SIU Redwoodsville, and this, what is it today, Bill? Is it the 26th? Yeah, May 26, 2010. Yeah, May 26. <laughs> but I was out here about a month ago, and uh, these walls had been fertilized, but we hadn't had any rain. We'd actually been in a drought, and now uh, that they've been fed, uh, wow, we this green spurium is fantastic, and uh, hasn't quite grown over the pockets yet. But uh, you know we're way early in the season, so we expect it to do so. And then the mixed plugs on top of this wall are just gorgeous. And uh, of course, some of the species that are in the pocket are, are never going to really grow over the pocket, but they're certainly going to be healthy and viable. Look at this top. This is uh, this is, looks a lot like a green roof. This is what we would want if we were using this as a detention retention structure. We were letting runoff water run right down through the top of this thing. We'd want to cover the drain field with uh, these mixed plugs. It's perfect. We're learning a lot over here. Look at that Kamchaticum. It's going to town and it's flowering. It's happy. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Bill and I are here today to uh, install these, uh, the drain system so we can collect the runoff water through these and uh, measure its effect on uh, retention and detention and uh, measure the quality of the water that does come out of the system. Let me do this. Okay, this is, this is one of our test walls and this one has the mixed plugs in it. And uh, buried inside here is uh, our drainage system. At the bottom we've got a pond liner so no water gets through and then we have a hole poked in the pond liner and then we have a filtration system and a bucket and a series of pipes that come out and uh, so anything that comes through the system once it's saturated will come out this pipe so now we're going to attach a longer pipe to it and run it out to these collection buckets here and everything's going to be stored and measured in these buckets so that's what we're here to do today and uh, we've already tested these once the system gets saturated, the water does come out of there quite nicely, so the system works. So Dr. Bill and I just got this first one set up. See Dr. Bill picking up his tools like a good worker. We get the trench, we're going to fill that trench in and cover that pipe. And you can see there's a nice drop on the system coming out. Comes down here to the bucket. Elbows into the bucket, it's all sealed. Bucket's on a nice flat spot, we'll fill in around that. And so what will happen is this entire embankment is going to have pipes and buckets coming out. And it's going to make it more challenging to mow around, most certainly. But, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, this is great. I love the way this works. And you can see we've made a nice flexible connection there. And it all runs downhill. We're in great shape. Look at the, the way that Kamchaticum is getting the job done. Now in another month, you won't see any of those modules whatsoever. And that's just the effect of feeding these. And they're growing in bottom ash with very low organic material. So they do need to have some feed. And uh, you know, a little bit goes a long way. And the goal is temperature moderation. We want it to grow over. 
Kamchaticum is one of the larger varieties that definitely has a history of growing over these walls and giving you the most uh, uh, temperature moderation.